What's up, everybody? We are back. Actually, no, we're not. This is actually my first time reviewing this. I actually just recently started watching this while I was on vacation. So I'm here to give you guys the review for Little Bit Atlanta Season 3. This is Episode 1. So if you are new, hey, I like to cut the food over here. A lot of this shit is just jokes most of the fucking time, all right? So, hey, I really want to get that the fuck out of the way. I don't need nobody any motherfucking feelings over here. If so, it is what the fuck it is. With that being said, all right, so you got Moni, you have Cora, which is her mother, and you got the twins going for a spa day, like a little rap thing, okay? Now, what I'm trying to figure out is, even though I don't fuck with, you know, many like that, why the fuck did she invite Andrea when Andrea asked you to move in, kicked you out when the ain't shit motherfucker came back? Like, you, like, it's one of those where I don't really get that, but okay, I guess we gotta keep up here and keep up friendships and whatnot. I guess you ain't got many friends, so we don't keep it fucking pushing and shit. Andrea says Chris moved back in here with the baby, so that shit's cool. Uh, Manny says she wants to be a healthier her because uh, she has somebody. Now, how many of y'all think that, uh, you know, she got somebody and it's for a plot line? I, I want y'all to let me know, okay? But anyway. Mm -hmm. Now, Minnie says she doesn't understand why Juicy and Mona keep coming for her. Sweetheart, it's because you lie. You lie and lie, and then you lie and lie. Again, I commend her. She commits to her fucking lie, but you lie. You, you lie, sweetheart. You lie. And now you got uh, Moni and uh, her friend Tanya. We did see Tanya at uh, Moni's uh, bachelorette party. And she pretty much owns a... Uh, her own uh, wellness company. She's a stay-at-home mom and whatnot. But, you know, she pretty much needs a nanny, so she's going to call her friend Sam, which I think we also saw Sam at the uh, bachelorette party. Y'all let me know in the comments if we did if we didn't. We haven't seen her yet, but she's going to come down to help her out to be, uh, you know, her uh, stay-at-home nanny while she, uh, you know, gets her work done because she has two, you know, children. That's kind of hard. And... Moni goes on to say that Minnie is no longer her uh, co-maid of honor. And then we got Dominique and Juicy, and they are in the salon pretty much catching up. And I'm going to say this. If you've ever been in a salon or if you've ever been in a barbershop, shit talking goes the fuck down. So they went and talked about the fucking reunion. Y'all know what the fuck happened. All right, so I need to go. I got me a long gal. I need, I need this to get through this year. They doing the most. All right, so uh, you have Sam. She was at the uh, bachelorette party. I'm like, she did look familiar, so she was at the bachelorette party. So we're seeing her again. She is a uh, oh, what the fuck happened with this? She's a makeup artist. So her coming down to babysit is also gonna help her because you know she'll get more clientele. You know, being in Atlanta. All right, cool. Uh, and you know they pretty much talk about how the job is gonna be with her babysitting the kids. Moving on from there, um, Andrea is with Chris. Uh, the baby has a feeding too because uh, I forget how to say a little pretty much um, when eating, the food can go down the wrong pipe. I think it's like aspirating. And we all sometimes do when we get to choking because it goes down the wrong pipe. So she's trying to teach him how to go about putting it in the right way. And they even mentioned that it can cause pneumonia, which once they said that, you know, I cringe because for those of y'all who've been rocking with me last year, I dealt with pneumonia from pretty much July up until fucking November. So, well, physically dealt with it, you know, what was it? Uh, July, August, September, but the after effects of it was fucking process. And they pretty much talked about the whole mini money situation. All that's going to come to uh, fruition uh, momentarily. And now, uh, let me see. Tiny decides to throw a party at her house for uh, Sam. The girls come over, many thinking, okay, I'm going to need me a drink to relax. And then she sees, you know, many come in. Molly's like, oh, hell. <laughs> my bad, my bad. And it goes to dope. So, um, let me see. What did I, I want to come down. All right, so they, they start to rehash the reunion. But it wasn't that it was necessary. They, but, you know, uh, Tanya and... Sam knows that, okay, it's awfully fucking quiet. Now, here's the thing. Many is the type of individual that I don't like. Because, I mean, you can sit here and tell. I'm not going to say she necessarily manipulates, but she going to let people, you know, kind of do the whole popping off thing. 
before. So you have, I believe it was Andrea that, you know, rehashed the reunion of what happened. And then it was her going in on Juicy and then, and pretty much say, oh, because you and many, I'm sorry, you and Moni did this. And Moni was like, <laughs> that was all her. That wasn't me. And it so then it went from that to, I won't probably fuck up the sequence. But I'm pretty sure Amanda jumped in, had her bits to say. Then Moni finally, okay, I got my backup, so I'm going to say what I got to say. And with all of that, <laughs> You know, it they uh, started to at this point attack Moni, and it was I believe Andrea asking Moni, "Why are you so quiet? You ain't got nothing to say." Because any other time you got something to say, and you know she was just and Moni Moni whole thing is this ain't got shit to do with me. This got something to do with y'all. So I'm gonna let y'all do what it is that y'all do. Like unless y'all and I, I guess one of those physically get up and attack her with Gucci. Even though it was unfair that it was a three-on-one verbal, you know, shading, but, you know, Juicy took it all in stride. So then the man was just like, oh, but any other fucking time you wanted to sit here and do something, what would you do this time? Well, get up and throw a drink or some shit like that? Like, literally antagonize her. Now, here's the thing. I, I've really never seen it for the twins. But, I mean, okay, we're going to get this. we hit for the drama, you know. So we're going to get this shit started, you know, and see what it is. But I really wasn't feeling that. And it got to a point where... Both Juicy and Moe decided, you know what? Fuck the bullshit. We're going to get up. We're going to leave and let that be it. So they get up. They leave. Uh, Tanya decides to, you know, do sage around Moni to kind of like cleanse her of all the negative energy, the spirits, demons, yah, yah, blah, blah. And then, you know, Minnie gets to cry because she's so tired of the bullshit. But again, had you been 100 from Jump Street, we wouldn't be here. Had you not constantly lied and lied and lied, then Juicy wouldn't have been able to sit here and spray you and come for you the way that she did. So I'm sorry. No sympathy. All right. So we really don't have much. Uh, Amanda wants a dog. So she takes uh, Sam with her. Sam pretty much tells her, hey, on some real shit, uh, Tanya don't want no more drama at the Chris Zip, okay? Because this is where the fuck we stay. This is our place of Randy. Our place of saying, you know, this, that, and the fucking third. So she don't want that. I don't want that. You and, the, you know, your peoples don't bring that shit around him. So she somewhat agrees to that. Okay, we're going to go from there. Now, Tanya, Moni, more Moni, but I tend to say Moni. Well, Tanya, Moni, and um, Juicy, they go out. To uh, meet with Ty's friends, um, forget exactly what they do, but uh, you know, like I said, Gay Pride's coming up in Atlanta, and they uh, wanted uh, them, if I'm not mistaken, to be a part of the float. Now, Juicy, like, <laughs> I don't know about how I feel about that, but they're like, hey, nah, bring everybody. It is what it is. Hey, we got our fucking chorus coming this and third, and you know, Tanya's just like, look, it should be a good time. It should be no drama. Yeah, everybody's going to be invited. Everybody's going to come. So I'm hoping Tanya not. You know, coming on here to pretend to be the peacemaker, but, but you know, low-key, like, stir the pot. I hope not, but, you know, okay, we'll see how this play out. Okay, so, the only thing I want to talk about for this part right here is Tanya is talking to Minnie because she feels uncomfortable because all the girls at her are at her house getting ready to go to, uh, you know, Pride. And she sees that Minnie feels uncomfortable, so she talks to Minnie. And, you know, kind of brings up the fact that she did say when, you know, she was getting saged down, um, you know, the fact that she's still holding on to things. And she's letting her know, like, on some real shit, you have to let these things go or you're not going to go anywhere. Long story short. So let me say this first. If I, oh, I didn't already say it, but happy new year, you know, and again, to all those who are new to my channel, welcome. Okay, y'all part of the fam, you know. But um, on some real shit, one thing that I, I would put out there since it is a brand new year. Imagine you're driving a car, right? I mean, you got your rear view mirror, you know, you got your driving and passion mirrors, but they're also pointing towards the back, right? All three mirrors are small. That's your past. It's the reason why those mirrors are small. You're meant to just glance. And that's all that they're there for, is for you to glance. So before you make that next move, you glance for a second to make sure that everything is clear. 
that's it. They're, they're just there as a reminder and just for you to glance, but not for you to keep on living it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you can, if you look too long, you might crash into some shit. You feel what I'm you feel what I'm saying? The inside of the car is the present. Where, regardless of where you sit, well, where you're, we're gonna say you're the driver. Right there is the present, but every few, but every second you're further and further into the future. The windshield is the future. Think about how big the windshield is compared to the other three fucking mirrors in the car. You're supposed to be looking at that. As long as you are constantly looking at, you know, the rearview mirrors, you can't see the force for the trees, and you're not going nowhere. So I'm asking y'all, this is 2017, people. Let's leave everything in the rearview. And if somebody decides they want to sit here and they want to bring your past to your present, drive past their ass. And you know what? Would you try to leave shit in 2016? You might want to leave their ass in 2016, too. Okay, before, be fucking poor, I copied on some of the shit that I just seen. Okay. Um, pride happens. It brings the girls together, which I mean, sometimes you just need to be in a different environment and sometimes for things just to be fun. It's in this moment that Minnie decides to talk to Juicy and, you know, spill her guts. My whole thing is, why couldn't you just wait for another moment? I got it, how everything is, but y'all happy. Y'all enjoying yourselves. Why the fuck now? Whatever. But she tells her, um, I wasn't really, and she does the roundabout, but I wasn't really pregnant. And of course, dun, 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 to be continued. So there's that. Now, in watching this shit, I'm just like, hold the fuck on. So Yoni Egg, we bringing, man, Yoni Egg's back. Like, I just got done seeing shit on the fucking Real Households of Atlanta. Now we go see it again this fucking season, and then Lord and brought Dr. Sherry. Like, y'all know, like, it, it's one thing for Bravo to recycle people. Lord, actually, no, that's We TV who used Dr. Sherry, right? Is it We TV, Braxton Family? Whatever. But okay, y'all couldn't find nobody new, but okay, we got Dr. Sherry talking about ain't shit motherfucker. But the shit that got me is it seems like all the, well, one, Mar uh, Marlon gonna walk the fuck out on, um, what that girl name is? <laughs> On Monty, you know, because she, you know, supposedly allegedly lost the engagement ring. But I was trying to figure out why all the niggas finna fight. It seemed like all they ass about to get into a fight at one, and I don't know why. That is, and you know, they always say that one bit blow. So I am waiting for that. So with that being said, y'all, thank y'all for watching. We really do appreciate. It. Hopefully, I have entertained y'all ass. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys on Friday for Married to Medicine. Peace.